Hello friends, welcome to the lecture on Advanced Microsoft Excel. Today I am covering Chapter 3 Advanced Macros. I am Ashni Bansal, your mentor for this session. Starting with introduction, macro is used for data entry or some formatting which we want to use for further reference. Macro is written in two ways. First one is writing a macro using VBA coding. And second one is recording a macro using Excel macro recorder. For VBA coding window, go to view, then macro, then view macro, and edit. Directly your VBA coding window opened. And second option is done through developer tab, then directly Visual Basic. And your Visual Basic coding window is opened. And next option is macro recorder. Macro recorder is a directly option in macro and record macro. And second option that is also available in developer tab, record macro. Enabling macro security. Developer tab, then go to code, then macro security, and then macro. Second option is done through file menu, file options. Options, then trust center, then trust center setting button in this menu and then macro setting. Developer tab, codes, macro security. We can use this option for macro security. Second option is done through file tab, options, trust center, trust center setting, macro settings and same window is displayed here. By default, developer tab is not activated. So how to activate developer tab? First, go to file, then option, then custom ribbon, and then check the box next to developer. To enable a developer tab, first go to file menu, then, then options, options, custom ribbon, in a right hand side window, click on developer tab. To enable this developer tab, click on this checkbox. Then click on OK button. After clicking the OK button, developer tab is enabled and various macro tools are available in the developer tab. So developer tab is helpful for macro. I already use a developer tab for ma macro settings and enabling the macro through this tab. Where macro are stored? Macro are stored in workbook we are using or personal macro workbook. This option is available in view macro, then record macro and start store macro in. Moving to case study one, CAPC Gupta gives us a boring routine in Excel. He says, when analyzing data list is Excel sheet, wherever we find an abbreviations which need to be investigated further, we are to highlight the cells. To highlight font in bold, the cell fill color has to be changed to pink, font color to blue, insert border for the cell. It is really a code to do it every time. We want to automate this routine and assign a shortcut key for it. According to a case study one, font in bold, cell, fill, color has to be Change to pink. Phone color to blue. And insert border for the cell. Select one cell and click on view tab then macro 
then record macro by default macro name is macro1 macro2 macro3 onward and we can assign the shortcut key if we can change the name in a macro we can change the name otherwise by default name is macro1 macro2 etc we can assign the shortcut key control w and uh, we can choose this option this workbook and then click on ok now your recording is started and you can format according to the case study one like first one is font in bold select this option and cell fill cell fill color has to be changed to pink that is changed to pink and phone color to blue that is phone color is to blue and border and then click on stop button your macro is recorded properly check this recording type any concept in a cell and then go to view tab macro view macro by default macro name is available in this dialog box and click on run command active cell format is according to your macro assigning macro through quick access toolbar first go to file menu then options then quick access toolbar and then choose command from macro select your macro press add to add macro in a right hand side window choose icon through modified button file menu options quick access toolbar choose command from and then select macro choose your macro name macro2 add to right hand side window and modify the symbol that is the icon of the macro modify the symbol i can use smiley here then click on okay your symbol is changed and then click on okay button and macro is added in the quick access toolbar you can use this macro just let's say take an example you can type the another word and activate through this button thank you the same macro is assigned through button and through shapes for button first go to developer tab then controls then insert and then form control use button option and draw the button into your excel sheet assign the macro and then click on okay button your macro is assigned through button and right click edit text and rename the button as format type another word to check this button to activate the cell and then click on this format button your format is automatically change according to your case study 1 second option is through shape first go to insert tab and then click on shape you can select any shape or draw any shape in your excel sheet and then click on mouse right mouse click assign assign macro click on macro option macro to name okay your macro is assigned on your shape then type any word and then click on this that your case study one formatting is implemented in your word reference reference are two type in a macro one is absolute reference and second is relative reference we already explain 
the re absolute reference in above case study one and next concept is relative reference let's take an example of relative cell reference according to the case study two we have to indicate a data list with other balance sheet auditor has give us a list of data with name and city underneath it and balance sheet in the next cell however we want a list with three columns name city and amount to convert it we have to follow the boring routine of cut paste and delete row for each data we however want to automate this task with the help of relative cell reference first type the name then city then amount data name is just like abc private limited amount is 2 lakh and city is delhi and second example is ak enterprise amount and like city mumbai third one is vn terms five lakh chennai the data of excel sheet is just like this now we can change the city into b column for this we can cut copy paste rather than cut copy paste we use relative cell reference for using relative cell reference go to view tab then macro and activate the relative cell reference concept that is changed into orange color highlighting concept and activate the cell a2 and start the recording assign a shortcut key control shift plus r then click on this worksheet and then click Okay. Now your macro recording is start according to relative cell reference, and then move to cell A3. Cut this cell and paste in cell B. Then delete the cell. A3 and activate the cell A3. Stop macro. Your boring routine is now converted into automation. That is done through Control Shift Plus R. Control Shift Plus R. That concept is done through relative cell reference. Thank you.